Other important, other important places for me have been Cornell University, where I obtained all three of my degrees, Ohio State University, where I did postdoctoral research, and the University of Illinois, where I have spent 29 years on the faculty. I'm grateful to my many teachers, including Roger Morse, Ron Boy, John Hildebrand, my postdoctoral advisor, Rob Page, and my many colleagues at Illinois and elsewhere, including Mae Berenbaum, Susan Farbach, Harris Lewin, and Marla Sokolowski, for their collaboration, stimulation, and support over the years. I've also been fortunate to train over 50 talented, brilliant, hardworking graduate students and postdoctoral scientists in my lab, including several from Israel, several here tonight, and I'm very proud of what we have accomplished together and their great scientific contributions after leaving Illinois. Honeybees live in a family, the beehive, and they cannot exist without it. Similarly, I wouldn't be standing here tonight without my family. My parents and sisters, Liz and Sally, have always been extremely enthusiastic in their support of my life with the bees and the bees' genes. My mother, Zikronali Baha, actually <laughs> did much to guide me toward an academic career with bees. That's the subject of a much longer story, but just let's say tonight that when it came time to making sure one of her children was on the right track, she was not one to, quote, let it be. <laughs> my wife, Julia, has been my life's partner and rock of support and confidence. And our three sons, Aaron, Daniel, and Saul, have learned the best of lessons from science with their love of learning, engagement with the world, and commitment to using their considerable talents as forces for good. And the same goes for our newest addition to our family, Aaron's wife, Diana. I also want to give a shout out to the bees themselves, endless source of inspiration, awe, and wonder for me for over 40 years. As many of you know, the bees are under a lot of pressure these days, with alarming population declines worldwide. But I am optimistic that solutions will be found for the bee crisis. For as Nobel laureate Carl von Frisch said, bees are like a magic well. There's always something more to learn from them. I hope to have many more years of learning from the bees, and I'm grateful to the Wolf Foundation for recognizing their importance. Thank you.